Hi sweet friends, it's Petra here with another Bramble Fox video. This video I started off with scanning the FoxCut 29 stencil and tracing it in my silhouette software and I cut it out in a different dimension. That way you can use your stencils in yet another way, because I love those Bramble Fox stencils. And I got three different design papers uh, by the splendid collection of Paige Taylor Evans, which I love, it's so bright and vibrant. And I used uh, all these triangles from the Foxcut 29 stencil to create this kind of sun. And I started out with tracing <laughs> a dinner plate to use as a circle for uh, the base of that sum. And then I decided to uh, color the inner circle uh, with my Distress Oxide uh, Mustard Seed to create this, uh, well, more summery feel. And I cut a yellow, thick yellow circle to cover up that, uh, well, messy inner circle of the sun. I call it the sun. So I used the new summer cut file of Bramble Fox. We have gorgeous cut files. Um, and I decided to make that uh, a bit greenish with my citron twist uh, oxide. And the upper part I colored green and then the word summer I just simply faded from green to white. So now it's time for uh, the photo, a photo of our vacation in Helsinki, uh, Finland, where there are no palm trees, but hey, who's complaining about that? I just love that cut file, so I had to use it. Uh, so I'm backing the photo with two different design papers, and since my big yellow design paper was already used up, I just chose a different yellow one. have uh, a pair of scissors which I only use for my foam tape and my double-sided adhesive tape. Uh, and once in a while I'll clean it up with some alcohol uh, to remove all that stickiness, but I always use the same pair of scissors for that. So when the photo is taped down, I decide to back my uh, cut file with some foam tape just to give it a little elevation. And I just use very small pieces to uh, tape it down. And I even don't tape everything and I don't glue everything down. Just here and there are some bits of tape, which is always more than enough. So time to embellish and those matching thickers uh, with the Splendid Collection are gorgeous and they have so many different little words and, and phrases, so I love them. So I add a little tab sticker over there with I think it was so much fun.
and I used this chipboard sticker, but I think that this chipboard is so, so thick. So I simply remove the back of the chipboard and uh, glue it down. I often do that with, I love chipboard, I, but it's often so thick and I like it when it's a bit more thin. Sorry. And if you heard that noise, I don't know if you did, but my son's at home and I think he's refurnishing his room. I don't know, but <laughs> well, sorry for that. So I'm just tucking down some bits and pieces, some little flowers from the chipboard uh, embellishments. decide to add a little word with uh, some orange just to give it a bit of a pop over there and then I'm going to grab my spring meadow flowers and I love that set of perspectives they are so bright and, and gorgeous so I'm using the green ones now and just simply removing the protective film And that little butterfly, ah, oh, so cute. I always glue it down with some um, glossy accents. I'm sure there are other adhesives, but I always use the, for, for my perspectives, I will always use the glossy act accents. So it's difficult to talk. I don't know why, sorry. <laughs> Didn't have enough coffee, I think. So I'm almost done. I want to do some splattering because, hey, you know, no layout without some splattering. So I'm grabbing my mustard seed uh, oxide and simply watering it down and using a small brush to make that small splatters. Just a tiny bit, not nothing too heavy this time. And that's about it. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you got inspired. Please let me know what you think in the comments and hope to see you soon in another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.